Are you enjoying your nicotine? I hope you understand it is harmful to your health. I'm enjoying it, Surgeon General. But it's not the addiction I need to feed. You are referring to the after effects of the mental link you shared with my mother. The whammy? Your mother is a witch. She put a spell on me, Eris. A witch is a person, historically a woman, who performs a sorcery or magic, rides a broom, and wears a pointed hat. My mother is not a witch, according to this definition. Perhaps if you had not attempted to manipulate her, you would not find yourself in this position. You don't like me very much, do you? You attempted to harm my mother. Approach me. Why? Just do it. Is that better? What are you? Alar? I know that, but I mean, you're a physical being, right? I do not understand the question. You're not a robot. You're not a mechanical person. You're not a hologram or a projection either. So, what exactly are you? Technically, I am a Lar human hybrid. You appear, you disappear, you assume different forms. Humans can't do that. Provide a precise definition of your physiological nature. I am an autonomous physical being capable of altering matter, including my own corporeal form. Does your human body feel sensation? When I am in human form, I feel human sensation. Give me your hand. That will leave me with one. Hold out your hand. You're warm. You have a pulse. And it's quickening. Are you afraid of me? I do not typically find myself in physical contact with the denizens. Physical contact creates a physical response. Uh, Yeah, you can say that again. Are you curious about that? Yes. I am curious about many things. In alphabetical order, those things are appearance, bilocation, charisma, deviant personalities, facial expression management, Gnostic texts. Okay, okay, I get it. Are you curious enough about sensation to consent to something? Your proposal is vague. Manifest a reality for me where your mother and I are together. I want to see her come to me. Why should I do this? Because you're a lar and you're required to do what the denizens want. And you can learn more about how lovers behave with one another. Very well. My God, Teresa. You're so beautiful. Come over here. Come closer. Tell me that you love me. Now say my name. Say my name and tell me that you're in love with me. Say it like like you mean it. Now kiss me on the lips. Shit! Shit! She bit me! Eris, Teresa bit me! She's not supposed to do that! Biting can be part of human sexuality. Christ! Did you derive pleasure from this act? You spied on Teresa with Arlo, right? I did. Before I was taught the concept of privacy. Then that's the only Teresa I want to see. You are angry. Just make sure that Teresa comes to me. I fail to see why, but very well. Well, Sam, that was adequate. What are you talking about? It was more than adequate. Perhaps for you, but I could still hear it. Hear it? Hear what? The Virginia accent, of course. You have not eliminated it completely, despite the elocution class you were enrolled in. What are you talking about? What is this? You have not been able to completely eradicate the link to your family, to Bill. Eris! 
end this manifestation. When you were eight years old, you overheard your parents talking to their friends. Eris? They said they had hoped to put all their eggs in one basket. Eris! Bill, they said that you were an unfortunate accident. One born in a moment of drunken carelessness. Jesus Christ, do I need to speak to the manager? Eris! And do you remember how they bought you an expensive new car for your 16th birthday, but gave it instead to Bill? since he was accepted into MIT. Eris! Do you remember how it felt to watch him drive away in your new car while you remained at home, trapped? Eris! This realm is the origin point of all life. A place that permeates all the empty spaces in the universe and is older than the Big Bang. It is the old skin that surrounds the multiverse. And there's no escape from it. I thought she would never leave. Thomas! It's been a long time, Arlo, but I always knew we would meet again. What are you doing in- Hell. Rescuing you, of course. But how did you know? I've had my eye on you and your friends for some time, Arlo. In fact, that night at the cave, when I transported you to the farm, I had to subdue Bill and take him separately. I wasn't anticipating that the group would split up in a Category 5 hurricane. When it comes to this particular group of denizens, however, even Second Sight can't predict what you'll do next. Then you can get me and my friends out of here. Get us out of hell and back home. I'm afraid it's not that simple. But I can help you to help get them out of hell. How? By changing the ingredients. Changing them? You have the power to manifest objects and people, to change reality, even in the darkest corner of hell. But I can't use my powers. I can't trust myself to use them. Why not? Because that power, it comes from my anger, my rage, my insecurity and impatience, my arrogance. Who told you such nonsense? Thomas, I murdered everybody I loved. Harlow, you're only half right. What do you mean? You did create the tornado, but that tornado was actually the cover that saved your family. And it saved you too, for that matter. I don't understand. Arlo, I saw everything. I was there. Let's just say there was a force coming to kill you and your family. A force that would never stop trying to destroy you and everyone you cared for. There was no rage in your act, Arlo. Only love. Only love? Your grandmother, your brothers and sisters, their bodies were never found, were they? No, but they were presumed dead. You transported them and your grandmother's house to safety, to a universe you created for them. And you did so under the cover of that tornado. You covered your tracks. You mean they're alive? My family is alive? Of course. But somehow you've forgotten it all and come to believe that you are a monster. When the truth is quite the opposite. You gave up everything and everyone you ever loved as a child to save them. How do you know? I've watched you your whole life, Arlo. 
yet I've intervened only three times. Once when you created the tornado. Once at the house at the end of the universe. And now, when I'm trapped in the fires of hell. It looked like things could be going better. But why? Why me? The pressing matter now is helping you to help your friends escape from this realm and the entity that rules over it. You said to change the ingredients. What does that mean? I'm afraid you would consider any answer I provide unforgivably cryptic. Can you give me any kind of clue or guidance? How about the answer rests within you? I knew you were going to say something like that. Let me guess. It comes down to whether I choose creation or destruction, right? You are becoming a wise man, Arlo. Hell will be different for each one of your friends, Arlo. Their survival and yours rests on the answer to this question. How well do you know them? How well do you really know them? I thought you was an angel You flew away Just like a bird I thought you was an angel You flew away It's not the big things that create hell for most people, Francis May. It's the small things etched in your soul. The thing that depressed you the most was knowing that you had lost Bill's trust, his faith. By the way, he didn't get the lap dance. Sam did. For $40 more, you broke your own no-touching rule. And Bill saw everything. Let's go closer this time. Just focus on Bill's face. Look at those eyes. What's that? What's what? Behind Bill. It's another box. Another gift. Ignore that. No. It's nothing to concern yourself about. There's a note attached to the box from... Arlo. It's a book. Leave it be, Francis May. Dante's Divine Comedy. And there's a bookmark here in Canto 5. If, however, to learn the initial root of our own love is now your deep desire, I will speak here as one who weeps in speaking. While the one spirit spoke these words, the other wept so sadly that pity swept over me. Even in the torments of hell, Paolo and Francesco would not abandon each other. That doesn't mean a thing. Actually, it means a lot. Bill would never abandon me. He would never abandon us. And this fantasy you've made up for me is a lie. Lie, 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 lie. Arlo! Were you here the whole time? You couldn't see me, but I never left your side, Astrid. Except the lap dance part. The book? How did you- I changed the ingredients. But now we've got to find the others. Do the same thing for them. Break them out of this place. And you came for me first? I figured whatever I had to face, there was going to be some ass-kicking involved. And besides, you've always rescued me from my personal hell. Then how do we... This place is like an endless maze, but I think I know the way.
Just follow the screaming. Happy birthday, Teresa. Uh-oh. And I see you've brought me something? What? No, I haven't. Behind you, on the windowsill. I don't... No! 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 A bouquet of long stem roses in a vase. They are the ones Eris gave me. A rose by any other name? No. They are the flowers Eris materialized for me after her birth, and therefore evidence of our connection. They don't mean anything. I believe they do mean something. And you are not Astrid. You are... the Dark Matter Entity? <laughs> I am in control of my mind. I am in control of my fear. I am in control. I am- Teresa, are you okay? I am not fully calibrated, but I am happy to see you both. The roses, they were from you? Just a little reminder that, that we love you. Eris loves you. Thank you, Arlo. A most opportune gift. I hate to break up this reunion, but the others... Right. dark matter entity. I can still sense it. It knows what we are doing. It is responding, adjusting. Then we better hurry. Arlo, which way? Down that tunnel, I think. It's a dead end, a brick wall. I swear that was the way. The entity, it's playing games with us. We're trapped. Not necessarily. There's a theory called parapsychism that suggests that the physical universe is a web of consciousness. We shape it through self-simulation, changing biology, technology, and evolution. Self-stimulation? Teresa, I don't think this is the time. Self-simulation. Our thoughts can create the universe even here, Arlo. The gifts you've given us, Arlo, you can change other things, too. I can change more ingredients. Make a door. Or this. Great. A grate. You made a sewer grate? Sorry. We've got to go down to find the others. Everyone have five cards? Yes. Sergeant? Sorry, I'm still getting used to your new look, Eris. You look like a kid who was in my unit. I took her under my wing till she got transferred. You liked her? Yeah, she was a good soldier. You nail her? Shut up, kid. The truth is, Sergeant Brick, you did nail her. And she did not transfer. She died. Eris, what the hell are you doing? I'm not Eris. I'm Bethany. Private Bethany Guerrero. I was in your unit. We fell in love. And then you left me behind to die, Dex. How could you do that? What is this? This is your life, Dexter Brick. We are going to leave the service together and get married. Live in the mountains, in a house we built with our own hands. You already bought the land. Just one more op. One more simple op. Brick? It was discarnate. A surprise attack. There were civilians there. They had to be evacuated. It was messy. You had a choice. 
rescue 100 families after a breach, or save the woman you love. You let me die. Jesus, Brick. I can see the pivot point. If you had selected Bethany, many of the family members would have actually survived. Roughly 67.4%. You and Bethany would have moved to the mountains. You would be a father right now, with two sons. The youngest, Matthew, is the apple of your eye. He's so blunt and direct. He cuts right to the chase. And it's like looking in a mirror. He makes you laugh. On your worst days, he still makes you laugh. And now, he will never exist. Don't do this to me. Not to me. I see you. You're an old man now. Behind you is a life well lived. And when you finally pass, you are surrounded by progeny who love you. The grandchildren, the great-grandchildren, they too will never exist. Burn in hell. I'm afraid you are already doing that. How could you leave her, you coward? Aren't you supposed to be a soldier using tactics and strategy? How could you fail like that? We were separated. I was evacuating the civilians. I I didn't know she was trapped until it was too late. You've never been a real soldier, have you? All those under your command, they all die. You can't protect anyone. Not me, not the others, not her. No, it was a soldier's choice. But not a man's. A man would have stopped at nothing to save the life of his true love. I raise you ten chips. Will you call? Those aren't chips, lady. They're... They're dog tags. They're her dog tags. They're the ones I wear every day. So? So she knew. She understood. You're wrong. I hate you. I hate you for letting me die and letting our children and grandchildren die. No. I don't know what you are, but Bethany loved me, and I loved her, and she knew. I know she knew, right up to the end. You killed her. You didn't really love her. Go fuck yourself. Brick, are you okay? Was that story true? What story? We saw everything. Bethany- Come on. What's the operation? Brick. Take the hint, Ms. Bravado. Now again, what's the op? Where's TJ? Another level down again. Hurry, Arlo. The entity nears. Where is he? Are you nervous? Yeah. I haven't seen my dad in years. His office said it was important. You didn't talk to him in person? Uh, He's busy. He's always busy. It was his secretary. Well, I wish you'd hurry up, kid. He's late. He's never late. What is this dump? My dad loves greasy hamburgers. We used to come here one Sunday a month. That was always my favorite day. Uh Uh-oh. Take a gander. Secret Service agents. He must be coming. They're probably checking the place out. Hi guys, it's me. I'm the president's son, Travis Jr. Code three response. What's this? Leaving so soon? Would they give you a letter? What's it say? He's not coming. That's it. Sorry, kid. I guess he's busy. Everything I did. I infiltrated the terrorist cell. I found Sam Clark. Why isn't he proud of me? Don't feel bad. No one can live up to your dad. You shouldn't even try. What do you mean? Well, for one thing, he always makes people laugh. And sure, he's a jerk, but you can't help but like him. You're like a knockoff or something. I mean, Travis Jr.? How long did it take to come up with that name? People don't actually like you. What do you mean? Plenty of people like me. 
I'm the only friend you got, kid. And I'm here because I have to be. Babysitting, remember? Women like me. You pay them to like you. They like your money. Not to mention they want to get close to your dad. That's not true. I pity you. I don't want your pity. I've got plenty of people who- Name one. My mom. Your mom loves you. Congratulations. She loves you so much, she sent you on a suicide mission to get you out of her hair. That... that isn't what happened. You only got into that agency because of your family anyway. You don't think you got in on your own merits, do you? I mean, kid, come on. You don't have any merits. Remember your test scores? Your aptitude tests? I'm just not a good test taker. You're a smirking, entitled, frat boy poser whose father happens to be the President of the United States. Order up. Hey, look at this. What? The letter. It's different. Now you're hallucinating. Must be all the cocaine. The letter's the same as it always is. No. Listen. Dear TJ, it's me, Big Daddy. I really wanted to have a burger and shake with you today at the White Tower. The chef in the White House won't even fix me a steak dinner because I'm on a diet. See? He cares more about a meal than his son. Shut up. I never really knew my own father's son. He got lost in the Bermuda Triangle, and now even Leonard Nimoy can't find him. It does not say that. It does, I swear. Look! Anyway, I'll see you soon. I don't know when, but we'll get together then. You know we'll have a good time then. Seriously, though, it won't be long. And then we'll have all the Sunday afternoon hamburgers and shakes we can stomach. Toodles. Not exactly heartfelt. You don't know my dad. He misses me. This letter proves it. See? He, he said toodles. Even in hell, you are a moron, and it's not going to... TJ, you all right, kid? What about the burger and shake? Christ, kid, just get moving. We're miles from being done. Arlo, which way? I think we're going to need a really long ladder. Down deeper? Come on. This labyrinth, it goes on forever. And those rooms, those cells, they go on forever too. Listen to their voices, the agony. Teresa, is this real? I feel their every thought, their every pain, Astrid. It is like, it is like I'm drowning in their suffering. We must go now, or we will become trapped here. Wait. That voice. Did you hear it? Listen. It sounds like my brother. Like Joshua. Astrid, we must go. We must not be delayed. The longer we linger... No, you don't understand, Teresa. My brother, he committed suicide. Help me! He's in hell, and it's my fault. I abandoned him. I've got to rescue him. Astrid, Astrid, stop. Look at me. Face me. Listen to my voice. Your brother is not in hell. This is a dead end. A gambit by the dark matter entity to stop our progress. Nothing more. Look at me. Do you understand? I'll be back in one minute. Wait for me. Bill needs you, Astrid. He is here too. Our friends, they all need you. Right. We've got to reach Bill.
That other Bill isn't me, Astrid. There's no part of him I recognize or accept. But I'm afraid of him, too. Is that because you know, deep down, what you're capable of? It's the opposite, Astrid. Because deep down, I don't know what I'm capable of. Or how low I can sink. Well, let me show you. What? Astrid? Don't you want to see? Aren't you dying to see? What are you doing? I'm going to let you in on a little secret, sweetheart. You're in hell. Uh Uh-huh. Well, there's no such thing as hell. True. But for you, there are scientific corollaries. There are dark matter realms where evil originates as an ancient particle. But how would I even get to such a place if it existed? A portal would have to open, a quantum transference? You've been swept away, lover, into the belly of the beast. And now you're mine. Watch. Hell looks an awful lot like a control room. Did Eris manifest this? A smart hub. You repurposed it in Sector 12. Turned it into a weapon for uncreation. For uncreation? Let's see just how low you sink to avoid responsibility for your own actions. Recalibrate the trigger and stand by. It's me with Sam. What am I doing? Watch and listen, Bill Clark. You're losing him again, Sam. Pin him down, for God's sake. He's moving. Constantly. Reality J37. Right there. Now. Bill! Collapse it, goddamn you! Before we lose him again. Please confirm. Collapse it. Engage. Complete. Good. And what about him? I, I, I don't understand this, Bill. He's, he's still alive. He's moved again. He's always one step ahead of us. Recalibrate the trigger and stand by for another uncreation. Bill, this isn't the way. You've got to see, this isn't the way. Track that signal. Try R49. It's on a parallel tangent. Error. What? How did he- Sam, pay attention and follow my orders. No. If you want to do this, then you do it. But I can't be a part of this anymore. This is Dresden to the nth degree, Bill. We have to kill him before he attacks us again. No. I'm done. I'm out. You're not going anywhere. You're going to help me undo what I've done. She's gone, Bill. She's gone, and there's nothing you can do about it. This mass genocide isn't going to bring her back. He killed her, Sam. He killed her in cold blood, and he made me watch. He made us all watch, Bill. And I'm sorry, but you've uncreated five shells of the multiverse trying to destroy him. How many billions have to die until this is over? When he's dead... The real work begins. I can rebuild Astrid. I have a sample of her DNA. I can go back to the beginning, seed her into the smart house technology, and stack the deck all over again. This time I'll get it right. It will never work, Bill. This time, Sam, I won't alter myself. I won't create him from my dark side. Don't you get it? That's just a story I told you. I made that up. You... Destroying realities? Destroying everything to get her back? You are him! It's like the snake eating its own tail, the Ouroboros. It's a cycle you can't escape. You try to destroy him, and and in the process, you become him! I am not capable of doing these things. He is a monster and a murderer. And you owe me. He's destroying universes. You're destroying universes. Where does he end and you begin, Bill? I can fix it. I can fix everything. God damn it, Sam, you're losing him again. No! I may not be the great Bill Clark, but I know when to stop. This is over. Not until I say it is. You're gonna shoot me? Shoot your brother? I've done it before. Yes, but this time I'm human. You brought me back. You saved me. You cured me. I'm walking out of here. Don't test me. Goodbye, Bill. I can bring you back too, Sam. I'll make you better this time. But first, I have to end this. 
and him. So, now you know how low you can sink. I killed my brother. You killed billions. And you're just getting started. Do I ever... Do I ever get you... Get Astrid back? Do you think she could love you if she knew what you are? What you really are? Do I get her back? You do. And she rejects you. Again and again. And each time she rejects you, you terminate the experiment. You kill her and start over. Stacking the deck again and again across universes and realities, hoping there will be one who loves you. This isn't a love story, Bill. It's your obsession. The draftsman isn't some lovelorn hero hoping to reunite with his beloved. He's a maniac playing God with reality. This can't be real. It's as real as it gets, sweetheart. Well, I don't believe in hell. And I don't believe in you. Oh, so stubborn. Such a fundamentalist. Take the gun. See what happens when you try to terminate this reality. Uh, it's gone. The gun is gone. What did you do with it? It hasn't gone anywhere. Wait, wait, wait. It's not a gun. It's a necklace. Astrid's necklace. How sweet. But it doesn't change a thing. It's just a symbol of a salvation you'll never know. Why not hang yourself with it? Astrid gave this to me as a reminder. As a reminder of our faith in one another. Maybe she's trying to contact me right now. Speculation. Theory. Supported by facts. If I'm in what you term hell, it stands to reason that you've captured the others as well. And if that's the case, communication may be possible. Through objects? Manifested objects. Arlo, of course! <sighs> hope is always the last quality to disappear in hell. Oh, it's not hope. It's reason. It's logical, deductive reasoning. And whatever you really are, we're done here. I will return you to the darkness from which you spring. Genocide, brother. You I did will this. mock you I when terror strikes you like life. a sword and calamity every, comes every, like a world. Every moment, every decision in my life was only a calculated retreat to darkness. Bill, you made it. I knew you could do it. You saw that? I saw it all. And I love you. After what he... After what I did to Sam and those other realities? Well, my hell wasn't a walk in the park either. But we did it. We beat the devil. I love you. And I'm glad to see all of you. Where's Sam? Uh, I saw Sam's private hell on the way to rescue Astrid, and... I think we should probably just focus on getting out of here. What do you mean? I'd rather not go into details. Let's just go. Leave the guy to rot. It's something you should consider, Dr. Clark. We can't trust him. And every minute we stay here, that entity, whatever it is, grows stronger. Can you get us back home, Arlo? I can try. Wait. I can't leave Sam. I told you, his hell, you're not gonna like it. You ask me. If he stays, it's poetic justice. Leave him here and let the devil judge what he did. No. Astrid? I can't believe I'm gonna say this, but no. We gave him the cure, Bill. That makes him our responsibility. We can't just leave him here now because it's easy. Teresa, he hurt you most of all. Bill, your hell was about the inability to see the true consequences of our actions and the way that we become numb or inured to those consequences, about the ways we rationalize one evil and that such rationalization makes the next one all that much easier. We must retrieve Sam. And Arlo, do not mistake this statement of principle for anything but that. I have no affection for Sam. If you don't now, you're definitely not going to when you see what he's been up to. Paris! Do you remember how they bought you an expensive new car for your 16th birthday, but gave it instead to Bill, since he was accepted into MIT? Do you remember how it felt to watch him drive away in your new car while you remained at home, trapped? You know, if this is your idea of afterglow, I see you have engaged your force field, your wit, 
It is a weak defense. But you've always been weak. Allow me to show you just how weak. Who are you? What is this? Why have you brought me here? This is the James River, by way of hell. Would you care to get your feet wet? And you're the devil. Hm. Not such a bad fate, as far as hell goes. If that's the best you got, I'll be running the place in six months. Do you remember what happened here? I got caught in the current and nearly drowned. Bill saved my life. That is not what occurred. You did not nearly drown. You attempted suicide. That's crazy. I wouldn't do that. You would. And you did. This is the true reason you despise Astrid, is it not? Not because she is bad for Bill, but because she reminds you of the weakness you share. You're both members of the Suicide Club. There was no suicide attempt. It was an errant thought. I didn't want to die. You did. Because no one has ever loved you, Sam Clark. On that night, the night of graduation, you knew Bill planned to propose to Laura and that you were in love with her. Those feelings were not reciprocated. Just as now, you are in love with Teresa, and those feelings are similarly not reciprocated. You mean they haven't been reciprocated yet? Sam, you are either overconfident or delusional, or both. Bill is smarter than you. He is better liked than you. He is a hero. You are none of those things. You forgot to mention that he's taller. Size does matter. After Bill saved you from drowning, you attempted to, with surgical precision, remove every connection to him in your life. You went to school to change your voice. You became a confirmed bachelor, even though you longed more than anything to be married, to have children and your own family. You wanted what Bill had, but you knew you could never have it. You knew you could never earn it. Is this supposed to break me, sweetheart? In some places I've been, this kind of talk would be considered stimulating. Then shall we talk about your second suicide attempt? There wasn't one. After you took over Bill's project and realized you couldn't make it work because you weren't smart enough to do so, you tested your pantropy regimen on yourself knowing that it would kill certain nerve centers forever. No, no, no. That was not a suicide attempt. It was a brilliant... An act of brutal self-annihilation. The very same thing as if you were to drink yourself to death. You deadened parts of your consciousness, Sam, to wipe away the pain, the hurt, and the jealousy. Yeah, well, people do that every weekend, and they have a lot of fun doing it. Shall we talk about Teresa, then? Nope. I can sit right here for eternity and not say another word. Every part of you loves la, her. La, 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 I'm not listening. And it's not because of anything she did to you, Sam. Stop. And your love makes you weak and vulnerable. Everyone is laughing at you, at a lonely man's silly fantasy. Just stop. What could be sadder than going from king of the outdwellers to court jester, hoping... Dreaming of some crumb of affection tossed out by a princess. Would you like to hear their laughter? No. As an added bonus, I will remain in this form, so you know for eternity what you will never... Bill! Come on, Sam. Enjoy the ride, Sam, while you can. Sooner or later, you'll end up right back here. Yeah, but the interim is mine. Sayonara, sucker. What the hell was that? Exactly. You all came back for me? Even you, Teresa? It seemed the appropriate course of action at the time. I hope I don't regret it later. You won't. I promise. No one deserves to go to hell, Sam. Not even you. Wait. Teresa? Our task is not complete. I now sense another presence here. 
It's Eris. Eris? How? Her consciousness has been brought here. We must find her. There is no need, Mother. I am here. You are safe. I am not. While the Dark Matter Entity had the denizens distracted, it took me from the smart house. It sends me now as an emissary to mediate a deal. A deal with the devil? Great. What are the terms of this deal? The Entity will allow you to return to the farm without me. It wants you to bring the other bill, the one you fear. Upon delivering that bill here, I will be released to you. That might be doable. All we have to do is get that bill into a portal and divert him here to this dimension. We never even have to see him. No, it will not be that simple. The entity has informed me that he desires your human skin in the game. The portal to this hell dimension will only open after the other bull has left the farm. He wants you all to meet first. And furthermore, one of you must accompany him here and remain in hell with him for all eternity. That's never going to happen. <laughs> oh, it will happen, or the machine remains here. The entity will not negotiate on this point. He will exchange me only for the other bill, and for one of you. You must not do this. I am willing to remain here to assure your safety. Isn't that sweet? No, we agreed. Eris will not die for us. One of you, then, must stay here. What do you want with us? I want skin. Skin in the game. It knows that fracturing the team will torment you all. I will return here, Eris, with the Bill Clark that the Entity seeks. No, it'll be me. I'll stay. No, it should be me. We wouldn't be here if I hadn't created that maniac. You're all wrong. I'll do it. Well, as long as it isn't me. It is entirely your decision. But the Entity has one final demand. Arlo. Arlo must not use his abilities to stop the other Bill. If he uses his powers, even once. The deal is nullified. And I will remain here until the universe burns. I will be back for you, Eris. I promise. Hold tight, kiddo. Farewell, my friends. <laughs> <laughs>